Hello, um, I have been stressing out quite a bit today, um, I kind of woke up and then, I don't know if I've talked about it really much in these vlogs, but Christmas time for me is quite stressful, although I absolutely love it. This jumper's great, but, like six, it likes to fluff. I really love Christmas, like it's quite obvious that I really love Christmas. But the fact that there's always stuff on and it's such a busy time of year makes me very, very anxious. And um, I've just been freaking out about it quite a lot. Like today, just being like, how am I supposed to have time for all of this without like having a crazy panic attack? So what I've done this morning, I'm not going to show you because, um, you know, I don't want to show you like my life. Um, although that's exactly what I do every day. But um I've written down every single day of the next like two or three weeks and I've written down what I'm doing every single one of those days and looking at it makes me feel a bit better but also a little bit more stressed because there's a, something in pretty much every single one of these boxes. I'm working quite a lot over Christmas um, because I think a lot of people that work in like retail and bar work and that kind of thing work lots over Christmas because it's obviously a lot busier. Um, that makes me quite anxious because I think being in a situation where you feel quite pressured um, makes you anxious and that's how I feel. I've also got quite a few like social things that um, obviously they're not like they're not anything I have to do but it's still hard because obviously they're things I really want to do and I really want to see my friends over Christmas and that kind of thing but it's quite stressful and the hardest part is people I don't think understand why it's stressful for me and so that makes me feel even more stressed and more pressured to do something. But anyway, um, I'm going to go upstairs and get a bath now um, to just chill out. Oh, God. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of suffering with some form of pre-anxiety. Anxiety, like, when I'm not actually feeling anxious, I'm not having a panic attack or anything like that, but I'm feeling anxious about when that arrives. Like, I feel like it's going to happen. I feel like it's on the horizon, but... I'm just waiting for myself to start feeling really anxious. And it's pretty rubbish. I'm just opening my advent calendar. Oh, it's another bloody red ball. That's just what I need today. Um, so I don't really know what to do about it. I'm just kind of, I don't know. Christmas isn't always easy at this time of year. It's just kind of like one thing after another. Um, I just think I don't like change at all. When things change a bit, I'm just a bit like, oh no, this is weird. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go out soon and hopefully that will distract myself from feeling like this. Get down. Miss Delicious. Missy. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, you're the best thing ever. Oh. I just got home from being out. Oh god, I just do not look great today. Um I'm feeling loads better actually, I don't feel quite as stressed. Um, 
I just need to take it one day at a time. If there's a day that I can't just deal with it, then I just don't have to. Um, I just need to chill out a little bit more. I've also just remembered that I haven't done my medication in a few days, which is definitely going to be having an impact on me in some way. But um, I'll give you, I bought a couple of things while I was out, so I thought I'd just show you them. Um, the first two things, I got some vegan brownies. They're in the free from Sainsbury's range. Sainsbury's have so many free from things. I also got the free from chocolate because it's just, I don't know, it's just interesting to try these things. Um, some of you might know that I tried to go vegan for a month and I did manage it, but I just found it really hard and I didn't manage to last being vegan. Um, I would ideally in an ideal world be vegan, but I just being honest, I just find it really, really hard. Um, I just, that's like my excuse. Like, I'm not saying that it's a good thing. I know that, I know what goes on and I know it's really horrific and I do try to be, like I, my ideal goal is to like, try and cut things out gradually and become vegan over time. Um, I mean, it's such a touchy subject on YouTube to talk about that, but um, I bought them. Um, I also bought this frame from from the range it's just like a normal frame like it doesn't have like a epiter border or anything and I'm just going to put some prints in here that I will show you soon um and I also got two pom-pom makers how exciting is that um because I want to try and knit some hats and put some pom-poms on them I don't think it's the most exciting haul I've ever done I definitely think that I've bought more interesting things in my life than pom-pom makers and brownies but I just Oh, I'm getting cold. Cool. Who will this be from? Hang on. Hello? Hello. Hey. Hey. Uh, are you still there? No, we just left. I just want to talk about something that has been kind of like on my mind a lot recently. Um, it's quite a personal thing, but um, basically it's a part of anxiety, I think. And so I wanted to share it with you because obviously that's what this channel is all about and I know a lot of you might have felt the same way or just had the same struggle but my boyfriend um, is in fourth year of university and he has a job Um, I have a job as well but I like I work like part-time and so I don't really feel like I do as much as him um, because I don't he obviously is busy pretty much every single day and it's difficult for me to be able to see him because he um, obviously has loads of things to do and he's very busy. Um, this makes me quite upset because I, one, don't get to see him and he's my boyfriend and it's quite hard that I don't get to see him. And two, because it's hard when he's doing something that I can't do. Like, it's just something, it's just the way it is like there's not really a way to fix it because he can't stop being as busy and I can't just suddenly be busy I can't just suddenly be like I want to go to uni so I'm going to because that's just really tough um it's something that's quite been affecting me quite a lot recently because it's hard not being able to see him and it's also just really hard like not being able to do everything that I want to do and seeing somebody that you really love do what do that um it's all right if you're not doing exactly what you think you should be doing at the moment like it will all come but it is hard to see a partner do the things that you want to do and not be able to have time for you and more just like it's hard sometimes because they can't always be there when you need them to be um like I know Matt would be there for me whenever I needed him to be but like obviously I want to work on my anxiety but I need him to help me with that and um sometimes and he is obviously very busy. I don't know. It's just hard being the one that's not busy, I think. Um, but anyway, yeah. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna actually end this vlog here because I've not got anything interesting to say. Like everything else is just gonna be me watching YouTube videos and then reading and then going to bed. So not that much interesting stuff happening. Um, but thanks very much for watching today's video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.